What's up guys, George with the Ski Monster. Today we're gonna to be talking about what changed with the new Rustler. The Rustler got overhauled for the 23-24 season and some of you might be worried because you love the old Rustler so much and I'm here to tell you, you really don't have much to be worried about. Everything you loved about the old Rustler is still there and some things that the old Rustler didn't do well have been fixed. So what the old Rustler had problems with was hinging. And a lot of that had to do with the way that the metal integrated with the True Blend core. So from this year to last year, it, they're still True Blend wood cores, but you can see where the DRT metal really stops here. And the Flux Form metal is a better integration with that True Blend core. And it's extending all the way up to the tip into the tail in all of the Rustler skis. So basically what was happening is when you would get into heavier snow, especially if you're going down something steeper and the snow started to get a little heavier, you really feel like the ski kind of started to hinge right here. And you kind of feel like you're about to like go over the top just like that. I mean, literally that was the motion you kind of felt. Now, some people are worried about the new skis being less playful. And to be honest with you, we were too when we went to go ski them, but we spent two full days skiing these skis side by side, back to back, two runs on this, two runs on this, one run, half run, you know, every combination we could to truly understand the differences. And where the Rustler is better than this one is they grip a lot better on harder snow. And a lot of that has to do with the metal extending up. Now, one common misconception with metal is people think that makes a ski stiffer. What it really does is it makes the ski more damp and reduces the deflection of the ski, which is happening more effectively because the metal is extending all the way up to the tip and through the tail, where it doesn't in the old Rustler. So what we really get in the new Rustler is significantly better hard snow performance without sacrificing any of the playfulness that people came to love in the old Rustler 9, 10, and 11. Now, if we had to say, you know, which Rustler was most improved, it's the Rustler 9. From old Rustler to new Rustler, you're gonna notice the biggest difference between those two. Then a little bit less between 10 to 10, and it feels like an improvement in the Rustler 11. But these two guys here, or pardon me, the Rustler 9 to Rustler 9, that's where the difference really lies between the skis. So don't worry about losing any of that playfulness. Just appreciate all the new hard snow performance you're going to get. Any other questions, give a call, shoot an email, text, or book an appointment here in Boston.